Hello everyone. Today I will demonstrate your uh, bow lettering process with the bow brush. And uh, here is the Simog uh, 2000. This was my first uh, high quality bow brush. I'm waiting for the focus. Okay. And although it is superior build quality, a very soft and uh, bleached hairs. Uh, there is one thing why I disliked it, but uh, I can count that on me because I never contemplate the possibility that somebody is actually head shaving and not only face. So uh, this uh, loft is pretty big. I think it's 56 in 26 in diameter and 56 millimeters in length. And the only drawback from this uh, bore brush is that it generates uh, too much leather for my needs. So I occasionally use it and I used the cheap uh, shaving soap for her breaking in period. But uh, I rarely use it, only for this reason. It simply generates way too leather for me and most of the leather which I generate I will just waste so otherwise it is superb brush very nice quality very soft uh, at the very moment since I started to use it I stopped craving for badger brushes because badger brushes cannot compare with the softness of well broken bore brush at all so as you can see it's completely dry I will dip it. Oh, maybe I should fill some water first. So I'm just uh, dipping the tips. Like I said, it will eat a lot of leather because the loft is so big. But you will see how this leather will be. It's uh, literally a royalty level of shaving leather. So. Uh, Soap is a little bit bloomed, so I will continue loading it. Now, if you have a new brush, I suggest that you buy yourself a pack of Arco or some other cheap soap in a price range of 1 to 2 euros, US dollars, whatever you can find out. Just not to use and not to waste some premium soaps, which might be 16, 20, 50 dollars per pack so you can use uh, these cheap ones for tryouts to experiment how much leather will your brush brush are going to soak uh, how much leather you really actually need for your shave is it only face uh, shaving or head so I think this could be enough, but just because I didn't use this brush for some time, I will load it a little bit more. And let's see, I think this will be enough. So I won't use any starting water from now on. I recommend always squeezing a little bit of uh, brush knot because it will hold more water than soap and it will be watered down later on so just start brushing and scoop everything which is left now the soap will become thickening when you whip it up so don't be afraid to add a little bit more water if needed Again, like with any other brush, I'm not splaying the knot too much. I'm just swirling, changing directions, tapping it. I just want to lose all the bubbles and make the fine emulsion of soap and water. Now it seems a little bit sticky, as you see these uh, straight lines, 
So I will add just a tiny, tiny bit of water. As you can see, just a couple of drips inside. And I think this will help to even out the leather. Of course, the main thing is to figure out how much leather you need for your shaves, for your brush, for your particular soap which you're using. And this one is <laughs> starting to overflow. So we'll just use final touches to even everything out, push it down. As you can see, it's way too much leather for my likings and for my needs, but it will just demonstrate how powerful this brush is. So, like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a superb choice for any wet shaver. I think it is about 15 bucks, so it's also reasonably priced for the value. And yeah, so with the risk that I will lose a lot of leather, let's see just how much I manage to generate. I'll leave this for now, but there is enough leather for one pass in the bowl for sure. Okay, and this is just the overflow of the brush. As you can see. So a lot of peaks even from here. But if you squeeze a little bit more from the brush, you can see the monstrosity of it. So it's like a leather party. And now you can only imagine how many people you can shave with this brush. And again, look at the peaks. So it's very well distributed leather. I cannot distinguish from the camera are there any uh, bubbles left, maybe minor ones, but it's very nice, it's very protective leather. So one more for the show. A very nice separation, a very large peaks. This uh, leather will definitely last for at least three rounds. So, hope you liked it. Hope I gave you some ideas how to perform the bowl leathering. Of course, once you determine the exact uh, ratio of soap and water, that you need and the amount of leather which you will need for your shaves. You can continue with the bowl leathering, you can continue with the face leathering, but uh, in overall this is the main thing, just to figure out how much soap you need, play with some cheaper soaps, then when you settle on your preferences you can just use it uh, and use it economically. So. Stay tuned for more videos and if you like the content please share and consider subscribing. So thanks a lot and see you next time.